Welcome back to the channel, folks. If you are just tuning in, we have switched over to Minecraft after playing some Lego this afternoon. Or playing some Lego, building some Lego. I've got Minecraft on the brain. So we're playing some Minecraft. We were building some Lego. My name is Joel Duggan. If you have not figured it out from the name on the tin, uh, we are in the Dartmouth Meadows Iron Farm and Spawn Chunks area on the Citadel server. We finished the design of the melting pot yesterday on stream. We've got iron golems burning in there with their drops being collected. Uh, today we're going to attempt to design the top and the pillars of the iron farm. Uh, we also got a little bit of a head start on the guts of the iron farm yesterday. So this has been retrofitted. We've dropped the iron golems down. We've added in some water. You'll see what happens that their heads are being burnt in lava and eventually the drops come down here. We should catch them, but normally they go in the water. Yep. So that would normally go around here and be put in there. So actually I can put that back in the water here. I can put throw those back in and those back in. Iron goes up that way. Poppies go down that way. And they are separated out into these chests here. So we need to hook this up to a crafter, but I think that might be the last thing that we do. I think it might be better to focus on the design out here on the front. Uh, the Nookie, yes it is. I was out at the pub last night with friends, uh, including Miss Krugan, who's normally in the chat but is currently driving home uh, to the States. But uh, we were talking for three or four hours over the busy pub. It was actually quite a lot of people there last night, which is good. I'm happy to see a local pub doing well. Uh, I really enjoy going there, but it does mean that I have the Disney villain voice today. It is a good time. It is a great spot. Great staff. Burger last night was fantastic. Oh, right. You're walking around here, aren't you? Can I... If I light you on fire, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. You're not affecting the spawns, so you can wander for now. So my inventory is still full of crap um, from doing all of the last minute uh, adjustments. What used to be there? Does anybody remember what box was there? I don't have a shulker box in my inventory. It was probably the tools, be my guess. Actually, you should keep the basalt. I don't know how far the basalt is going to go on this particular build. Spruce logs are full. There are worse things than having a full inventory of all the things that you want to build with, that's for sure. All right, that feels a little bit better. I think that the changes to the burning chamber look good. I don't think I want to change the glass depth. I need to look into my glass rendering. I think that's where I need to make the changes is up there. I'd like to try and pull the basalt a little bit higher if I can. Although that might mean changing how we design the top of this. So let's go see what that looks like. Uh, we can do at least one block, maybe two. If we do two, we're going to have to figure out how to cover it up. Because the switch to the green texture is going to be a little bit weird. Yeah. Maybe we have to only do one. One might be enough. I definitely have to go higher on the glass on that side. And also I've got the glass in the wrong spot it looks like too. I 
Thanks for the lurk, Nucky. Appreciate it. I don't know, maybe we don't have this green thing stay in the center the whole time. I was toying around with ripping it out anyway. Hmm. So the glass is in the right spot. Is it just like an optical illusion? I guess I just can't see the glass from this angle, but it is there. Looks fine there. These are smaller windows as well. So why does it look... Yeah, it's like you can see the edge there, but you can't see the edge over there. Really strange. I don't think that sodium is following the rules as far as its own rules to where it renders certain faces of blocks. Either way, I think we should maybe grab some orange glass and see what this looks like a little bit higher. I don't really, there's not really a good way to do a gradient in glass either. Some stuff is going to get burnt, and that's fine. We might have to do some sort of border transition. Do you have double glass and not the other? I don't think so. Is that the issue? Nope. And that glass is supposed to be there for the little window thing up here, this little vent looking thing. Here it looks like I've got extra glass. Yeah. But that doesn't matter from that view. Maybe I've got extra glass in the front? I think I like it. I think I like it better doubled up like that now that I look at it. The, the L shape that you see is a little bit weird. I think that looks better. Yeah. Again, not that people are going to be up here pressing their nose up against it, but... So maybe that will help on the front as well. So I'll need four pieces. Yeah, it's weird that we can see the faces of those glass bits and not the other, right? Like I just I find that very strange. Right? Like you can't tell that there's orange glass over there at all when it's obviously right there. Like see how that changes? It's really bizarre. Not a fan of that. 
um, which would be something we could solve easily if I did not have this uh, go lower around the lip like that, which I don't have to do. We could just have it be flat across the top and that might be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, like we're not seeing the back edge of the orange glass here, but we are seeing the glass there. We are seeing the glass there and we are seeing the glass there. So it's really just the front that's rendering weirdly. Right? And just everything from here and north is rendering really strange. Well, I think the easiest solution, given that we're really not going to look at this from the top down, this is probably the fastest way to fix this. Let's just throw in full blocks. That way the seam is just on the inside and we're not going to really see it. So from down here, even if you press your nose up against the glass, it's going to look, there's just a little bit of green, but not much. And from back here, you can't see anything. Again, I'm assuming that this is staying and I, I don't know, I might end up ripping it out. I think it looks okay. All right, let's switch gears and focus on the top part. need more scaffolding and I'm going to need some leaves some logs slabs trapdoors Probably some moss blocks and definitely some azalea. And what else could I put up there? I really like, do I, did I bring my glow berries? Don't know if I did. If not, I can always make some more. I don't think I did. M Dog, hello, hello. Carpets, spruce planks. Yeah, I've got carpets. What is going to be the easiest way to do this without? I feel like I should be able to bone meal this, snip it, and then I should be able to do that. Should be good as new, and then I can probably bone meal this out here and get more. Cool. That could be a fun way to light that up. Speaking of lights, we will also need some Shroom lights, which I do not have very many of. What are the other lighting blocks that we could use? Obviously these would be good. I will need a way to turn those on. So the vibe is that, oh, uh, Smokers would be good too.
Smokers, what else do I use? Trapdoors, stairs and slabs, shroom lights, orange glass, and green glass. It's a water trap. We could use some blue glass, maybe. But green is probably going to be better. The target blocks are just part of the design for the mechanics. Might be able to use some composters for decoration. Composters do kind of go well with copper. They're um, sort of in the same, same family. Kind of orangey. Frog lights. That's a really good question. Do I have any of those? I know I can pop over to the Cosmics. I was talking to Cosmic off um, off mic in Discord, and they said that I can go borrow some stuff from their Somerville storage. Hmm. Honeycomb, maybe? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I don't have too full of an inventory, but we can try some honeycomb. The honeycomb doesn't give it off any light. That's the only thing. Right? So what we have to do, or what I want to do, is we have to encase the water, and I'd like this to be its own kind of platform. So I'm thinking like some cross sections of logs here, horizontal pieces, uh, and then the base of the water trap, which you can see from below, I'll want to create its own texture. I'm thinking it might be cool to use uh something like moss or i just I, if we use moss then i could create like a hanging garden underneath here like the whole thing could have like stuff hanging down so imagine this but like all under here like stuff hanging down there stuff hanging down there i think that could be cool and if we use moss for the base of the water then that gives us a really green backdrop which would be cool. And if we put lights up in here, then not that it really matters, but the whole thing could have like a glow from within, which could be kind of neat. Uh, I'm also going to build these up, uh, which I should do now that I think about it. I'm going to need more dark oak. We're going to have to go get more dark oak, I think. So I'm going to build those up a little bit higher, starting, I think, with the front here. I'm going to actually go up on the back, just so that the scaffolding is in our, isn't in our view. I'll put it right here, I think. Don't remember how tall it is. I think it's 60 blocks. Maybe it's a little bit too high. Yeah, I think I've maybe gone past. That was 52. Oh yeah, it's not 52. It is only, we'll see in a second here. This was a full stack of scaffolding. So it's only 42 blocks tall. So I feel like this should be the full height. Maybe even a little bit taller if we're going to put some sort of roof on it. And that does fall... Oh, wrong button. Most of that falls within... 
the spawning box. So anything up here, it has to be like a slab roof or something that's spawn proof. Because anything in that white area has to be spawn proof. I really wish that the box would render better with shaders on. It, it really goes into a big blur. Actually, I was having this problem earlier with No Man's Sky. I was playing on the Xbox and uh, it, um, it really does uh, make it hard to see planets when you're coming into land like you can't see anything and i don't know what it is about that whether it's an xbox thing whether it's a video settings like i'm not because you can't change any of the settings on xbox like it's just the game just runs you can't actually do much to change it so i know that um these two blocks have to stay so that the golems can't get out so these two blocks are 100 percent have to stay the block that can get changed though is one two we don't need this one that has got water on top of it and i need to sleep Lots of clouds and things in the sky when you land in No Man's Sky. Yeah, specifically when you land in a storm, which is like half the time on every planet, which drives me crazy. So one thing I think they, they did not do very well is um, they leave it up to randomness. Like they, it's, it's statistically, this is how many planets like this you're going to run into. But the problem is that it's just so much RNG that you're just constantly being disappointed by how frustrating it is to be on a planet. Right, so that doesn't have to be anything. Um, I want there to be layers. And I feel like with the other build... Well, I can't walk by here anymore. So down there, the pillars are up front and then the next set is in behind. So like the cross beams are in behind. So I kind of want to pay homage to that. And so what we'll do is have the cross beams here in behind. And I think it'll make sense from a pattern point of view. Because that could be a stair going the opposite way. Uh, and then this could be a log. So like we could do, I guess I should probably start on the back because that's where the scaffolding is. So this could be log. Or strip log, I should say. Uh, and then that underneath it could be a stair going the opposite way. Or I could have strip log here. And then this could have that. See, this could be an indent. This could be a really cool looking indent. This could also be kind of like a nod to the old image. So I have, this is the old farm. And you can see the doors we had to use because of that door mechanic. So I could put something like that in here if I was fast enough. And that could work too. So that could come across like that. And that's okay. But then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the remaining five blocks. Right? And what we could do is have a block up here. Right? The whole thing could look kind of like a grid. So like horizontal log, horizontal log, and just kind of keep on going up. I don't want to be too too crazy with it because I mean it's it's going to look like a big box no matter what we do
And the thing is we can't get going inside of here until we get up past, like in here I could do stuff, but then I have to make sure that those things are spawn proof. So if we had like an inlaid frog light or something, we'd have to make sure that that is spawn proof. So again, if I put something like that in here, or even if it was honeycomb, so like something like that, then that space at the top there has to be spawn proof. So I don't know, and it's starting to look like a skyscraper, right? So maybe we don't continue these all the way up. Like maybe they come up to a certain point and cradle it. We also have the issue of, of them not connecting down here. We'll have to like curve them in somehow. And you could probably cover that up with like a bush or something hanging over. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Appreciate it. So as much as I like a repeating pattern, I think maybe it would be better maybe push this a little bit taller and have like uh, stripped wood, trap doors, stripped wood, and then a, a, a larger open spot. Like have, have three open areas. So if we do that, I grab some of this. So one, two, and then this will be empty. Let's use leaf blocks just because they're not spawnable. Then we just have to figure out what to do with the top of it. That would come down here. I guess we could leave it. I don't necessarily want to see into that because it's not the most exciting looking thing. And we don't have a lot of room inside to do things. It would be neat if we could cover that up somehow. I guess I could put trap doors on the inside. Again, I just can't put anything on this lower level because that's the golem headspace that needs to be considered. Everything has to be here or higher. Green glass panes between the log strips. Um, I guess I could. Yeah, I could. I could move the trapdoors. No, I can't do that because that would remove a trapdoor space. So I could have green glass, but then you'd be able to see into the farm. I don't want to see anything in here. I don't think I really want that to be a thing. Um, I'm thinking like this up here could be lights somehow. So 
So like here could be just for the sake of argument, something like this. Sort of have some sort of energy or light happening up here. Could be fun. Probably shroom lights. Similar to what we have going on down there. And then I could have the um, leaves kind of go the other way. Oh, right. Let's just get rid of you temporarily. Right, something like that. Sort of overgrown, but then there's light happening underneath it. Could be kind of cool. It's whack-a-mole today, yeah. Sorry. I know there's been a couple of um, rules added, thanks to Cosmic, to the to the Twitch chat to try and keep out the bots, but it's been Bot City, I think, lately on on Twitch. I was listening to the latest Imp and Skiz podcast and Skiz was talking about how much he appreciates his moderators, uh, as do I, for all of the behind the scenes stuff that they do with commands and rules to try and remove, remove things. Nightbot takes the first blow, so all I have to do is ban them and report them. I'm glad that Nightbot is working out. I wasn't sure how that was going to work long term but uh seems to be going okay so i think i like the look of this but then what do we do for a roof on this like how do we handle this kind of stuff i want it to be covered that is what, what block level is that we are at 111 this is One eleven point five. So this is the kind of spawn-proof roof there, and it doesn't have to stay spruce. We could turn this into, into something else if we wanted to. I could probably replace the whole thing with moss, to be honest. All right, well, let's uh, replace the bottom because I think that that's going to be the easiest. Do have to go lower for that. No, nope, more lower than that. Okay, so this This should be glass, actually. And those are old fence gates that don't need to be there either.
And I think that can just go. Yes. I think that'll look good. So then imagine this with some bushes, right? And then maybe some glow berries. And then we could use the glow berries to light them up a little bit, which would be fun. I'm going to need to make some dirt scaffolding because my regular scaffolding is just not going to cut it. Hunter triple five. I was poked in the chest last night. Thanks to you. I'm sure you'll be interested to hear. McScrewgun said hello. And I said watch out the next time I see him in person. <laughs> I would like to apologize for any poking people engaged in my name. Side eyes McScrewgun. Yep. Yep. No, it was a very pointy, skinny finger right to the chest. So it was noted. It was noted. You stand warned. Now, is this going to be in the spawn? This should not be in the spawning box. It'll be in the detection box, but not. No, we're just outside the spawning box. That's good. So I don't have to worry about this screwing up the farm. Oh, missing glass. All right, we should be able to do the rest of this moss from here, or most of it anyway. I should probably try to do some of this from down here. It's probably easiest to grab the glass. Go around the middle first. I'm weirdly quiet. It's almost like I hold my breath when I'm up on something high in Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, I would probably survive the fall, but there's a lot there's lava down there and I really don't want to mess around. You tell him, Sandy. You keep McScrew gun in line. There'll be no no texting and driving. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Please don't screw anything up. I think we're sealed in and good. Lose a little bit of glass in the process, but I'll I'll allow it. I guess we could turn that into concrete. What do we think? Would that I mean we're probably not gonna be able to see it. Oh, I did bring bone meal. Hmm. I'm going to try that with concrete just to kind of see. I think I like that better. Has a little bit more of a technical feel to it. I know I just did this, but I think I have to redo it. It's one of the risks you run of doing this kind of stuff on the fly.
One thing I forgot to look up in between streams was how... Uh, nope. That's not good. I think we should be fine. Um, was how uh, sodium renders glass and whether it's my texture pack or not. It might be... Um, what's the name of the mod? Continuity. Connected textures, custom block layers, and emissive textures. What does this do? Enables or disables custom block layers. Well, that's no kidding. But like, what is a custom block layer? Mod authors, could you just <laughs> be a little bit more specific? I know you're detail oriented. You code stuff. Anybody in the chat know what that means? We are definitely going to need more moss. And this is the one that isn't needed, I think. Right. Crap. It's going to be more costly. I'm glad we didn't do any, like, grass decorating and stuff when we were down there. Mod authors operate off an assumption that we know as much as they do. Yeah, some do. I wouldn't say all. I want to lump, lump everyone all in the same boat, but it has been my the majority of my experience that it is definitely hard to get instructions. Um, I find the same thing with data packs. Like, here's a cool data pack that does all kind of great texture changes, but like zero explanation as to how how to do it, you know? Like the one on Hermitcraft. Like I, I can't even find a Hermitcraft video where they explain how to actually change the textures with the RP data pack that they use, you know? Crap. My shovel is too powerful. That's everything. We'll know more higher up. Oh, I can't do that one. That's annoying. Uh, how do I do this? I guess I use the water. Really glad that the design downstairs is sealed. I would be mad if I kept on turning my lava into cobblestone or obsidian. That would be a real pain. All right, I think we check upstairs to see what I've missed. I might be able to reach. Just the corners there. 
And I don't know why that's different. I might have made a mistake over there. All right, well, I think I like the idea of this double log space. So we'll turn these into logs as well. And I think we should start doing this on the front so I can back up and see if I like this design. I think the proof of concept on the back is good. But I think we need to make some changes here. the scaffolding bouncing and I guess juggling is about to get real So I covered that up, I think, on the back with another log. Or am I doing this wrong? Yeah, I covered up the moss with a log. So instead of a log, what if we did something a little bit more interesting? Oh, I didn't bring any. Oh, I did bring slaps. Cool. This is where the free com cam comes in really handy. Hmm. So I like that, but I think I maybe have it too high. Maybe we put that lower. And we keep the trapdoors. need to shift but I'm standing on scaffolding and then we do this but down here Similar to what we have down there. Oh, I can't forget about the um, smokers. Yeah, I think that looks good. Maybe the smoker could be there. Let's lower the other side. So many resources just lying around down there, I'm sure. So 
That looks pretty good. Oh, I messed that up. What a catch. Smart Joel does not want to shift on scaffolding. So maybe we can fit the furnaces in somewhere else. Maybe there. I feel like that would be a good spot for light. The other thing too. Did I bring the furnace? Yes. Oh, right. Which way do we want this to face? It's the same on the back and the sides, so I just have to change my perspective here. It's really subtle. It might make more sense over there. I feel like it sort of ties into that nicely. I really like this. This was a good idea. Minecraft stream is now one hours old. You are correct. I should take the advantage of sleeping when it's dark. I'll take the break now. Thanks very much, Sandy, for the reminder. Folks, if you're new to the channel, I do take a break once an hour. And I'll be back in just a few minutes.
I'm gonna go take a closer look at uh, this moss farm. I think those in the corners might help. Oh, I can't see. Could be interesting. I think I prefer the smoker down there than up in the corner. And this needs something, but we could probably put signs on that. Which could help. Maybe if I put vertical trapdoors there and signs along the side. Or we could have hanging signs on trapdoors as well. I think what needs to happen in here is going to be something different. That is not going to work, the log. I think we're going to have to put shroom lights, probably starting right from the bottom. Or we could have horizontal logs there and then something else like, uh, I don't know. What could we put in the middle? Thank you, Sandy. And I still don't know what's happening here. I know it's not going to be glass over honey blocks. The simple solution is probably just green glass all the way up the middle. And then maybe this should be just like a continuation of the spruce. Maybe we'll have a stripped spruce log in there. Got a few things I need to get. I think I might have to go collect some shroom lights to, to say, I think the easiest thing to do would be to try to pop by Cosmic's place and get them there. Probably the easiest. Let's go do that. So I need shroom lights. I need dripped spruce. We're going to do signs. I guess I don't need the copper bulbs right now. All right, let's pop over to Cosmics and grab some uh, wax. I forgot the wax. Oh, yeah, that's right. We'll go get some wax from Alistair as well. That's sort of on the way. Uh, Cosmic Somerville is down there, but Alistair is this way. I think technically Alistair is just a little closer. Glowstone looks really cool. A short road trip, yeah. It's really cool to see how much the other areas on the server have been built up now. Saw the snapshot video from Exumavoy today, and there is a lot of um, a lot of changes to bees and redstone and minecarts. <clears throat> I retweeted somebody that. Put together a uh, minecart launcher 
with the new momentum that you can control. I didn't realize you could see Matt Cast's castle from down here. I might be able to take the back way to Cosmics. I don't remember. It's only experimental. Yeah, that's fair. Um, no. Yeah, we'll just go this way. I still really like the design of these tunnels. They're pretty simple. But I really like the color and ways we've kind of smashed them together. There's a hole there. It's our nether is very like fly by the city of your pants Minecraft. And then certain tunnels are meant to represent like where you're going. Like Cosmic has a lot of pink in their area, so Cosmic's tunnel is pink. You're lost? I guess because I designed the nether tunnels, I know which ones are which. The dark oak goes towards the dark oak forest. Cosmic lives near the dark oak forest. I wonder why Cosmic Storage Room is so far underground. Now, where can we find shroom lights in here? Dirt, sand, nether stuff. Shroom lights! Don't think I'll need that many. Half a stack, maybe? They said it was cool to borrow something, so should be good. That was fast. I expected that to take a lot longer. Oh, I should look to see if they have any dark oak. Didn't see wood anywhere. Things, terracotta, random junk. Mm, 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 mm. Wood. Dark oak. I might just steal two stacks. Community Iron Farm. With supplies from the community. <laughs> Thank you, Alistair and Cosmic. So much color over here it's wild i've been building in the medieval area and my sort of realistic looking colors in uh in westville for so long you forget how bright minecraft is and i really need to figure out a good zone to do a lot of color i'm hoping to bring a lot of color into the the sci-fi area that i'm planning So Sandy, you were saying that you're lost. One of the ways that I keep myself oriented here is that from our nether hub, this is the center of everything. North is white and blue because it goes to the ice spikes. West is sandstone because it goes towards the desert. Alistair, Guardian Farm, all that stuff. Dark Oak is south because that's where the Dark Oak Forest is and it leads towards Cosmic's Place as well as the modern city. My swamp is green and gray and so it's to the east and that's how i remember what's out that way also um a lot of the farms are that way too and the rest of it is just like interconnected squares like it just kind of you can kind of go around a circle on the outside you can't see them on the map because of course uh, i have to reset the depth every time i go in the nether which is annoying Never thought about bringing copper into the design up top. Don't think 
guess we could try it. Maybe some of the supports could be copper. Hmm. That would be fun. Like, what if that was a copper... Copper support? Or maybe that's what we do in here with, like, copper lights? That could be fun. I don't know what I was planning on doing with that third level either. Yeah, with this three three block gap there. Probably just plants. Because we can't put anything there. So it's probably going to be... I guess we could do trapdoors. This feels like a missed opportunity. What could I put across there that would be cool and horizontal? So one idea I had was this. Which looks very structural, although now it, I don't know if I like that connection there. What if we switch this out? Not terrible. A lot of trap doors, though. Did I? I did. Brought those. So from here, I thought it would make sense to have maybe a furnace transition us into shroom lights, maybe. Cover this up a bit too. Pretty sure you can't put these on bushes, right? Yeah, you cannot. So we'd have to do moss there.
The tricky part is keeping all this spawn proof while we're working. So maybe something like this. That's really gross. Wow. <laughs> it's hard when you can't see what you're doing. Uh, maybe up a little bit higher like that. Could use some TLC, but you get the idea. Not crazy about the shroom lights, as I thought I was going to be more happy with them. Copper trap doors. Yeah, well, maybe that's what we could do. Copper trap doors over the shroom lights. That could be interesting. I think I prefer having maybe the, the shroom lights start higher as well. So let's grab some copper trap doors and it's either copper trap doors and stream lights, or it's going to be uh, copper bulbs. These are, those are dim when they're orange, right? And they're brightest when they're oxidized, I think. And let's grab some of that. Uh, opposite, so they're brightest when they're orange, and then they're dimmer when they're green. Okay, cool. Right, so I'm going to have this go all the way over here. So even with this, this is going to come out. Here. Don't know what's going to go there. So for now, it'll be the furnace, I guess. And we'll try shroom lights with copper trap doors, although I guess that eliminates this. Mm. I think it's probably going to be better the other way around. Maybe that could be um, light. Uh, 
And then I could use this. Maybe we have to put trapdoors over the lights, too. Oh, I just waxed the... Wax the copper bulb, I forget about that too. Oh, that looks like a wagon wheel. Weird. I was not expecting that. Hmm. I think the copper bulbs are better. What are, are the copper bulbs a full fifteen or are they a different a different light level? I have not checked. Let's find out. Uh, they are 15. Yeah, they are 15. Okay. Uh, yes, I probably have to spawn proof something up there. You're right. Thank you. So I'm not crazy about the trap door over the copper bulb. 15, 12, 8, and 4 for the copper bulb. Cool. Thank you. Whoops, wrong thing. Just trying to think of how we can work other copper bits into this on the side. That looks really structural, but maybe I should put that lower. Yeah, what if we take some of the pipe design from below? We will put that up here. And do that. Now, some of this is going to be really hard to see because it might be covered up a little bit by leaves. But if we do that, and then in here, I didn't wax that one. Do that. And then we could have, actually, let's grab that again. That's the block we could have then light, light, and then light. 
and then another copper thing. It would be really fun to add like animation to these because I know how, but I feel like that would be something that I should not run all the time in the sponge chunks. <laughs> Call it a hunch. It is so slow going when you're building vertically, even with scaffolding and Electra. Ah, that does not look as good as I thought it was going to. Maybe we just need the one light. Don't know where that went, but I'm going to want to go get it. I want to get rid of these honey block things. Keep on seeing them out of the corner of my eye. If they oxidize, then they'll match the leaves. That's true, too. That's true, too. Hmm. It just It doesn't feel as matchy as I want it to. Maybe I've got to put copper stuff across here. Maybe that's what I need to do. It would match the orange. We've got a lot of orange in the bottom. It would be kind of cool to have some copper stuff up here. Yeah, I see I've got an oxidized crap trapped over there now too. And you get spoiled with that camera and then you realize you're still way down on the ground. So what if we did this? And we took this out. I like that. It's a lot simpler than what we've been doing, but I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if we need trapdoors on it. I don't know if I have trapdoors. I don't. Oh, that was close. 
<laughs> My Elytra didn't open. Wow. That would have been a yard sale. Uh, where am I going? Yes. What do I have too much of? When you start waxing things, it really starts messing with your ability to carry extra items. I have not been using the honeycomb blocks. Is there one cupboard missing in the very top left? Maybe. Appreciate it. You're probably right. I think I liked it better before. I think simple is good. We could potentially use the trapdoors on top, although you can't really see them. And I can't put them on the bottom because then the uh, interior trapdoor would have to be something else. That space is actually holding back the water. So. I think I like that, and then we'll remove the lower copper here. So that lines up, and then we'll have, I guess, just more of this. And then something in between. We could hide, uh, Could hide a smoker in there instead. Hmm. All your corroded wax things go in a bundle. That's a good idea. Again, I'm seeing this ugly wax bee honey block looking thing. That's glass on the outside. The other one I did glass on the inside. And then this is missing orange glass. And I am missing inventory space. What do I not need?
think that's all the signs. Yeah. I don't know if I like the whole the busy trapdoor thing. I like that, but I don't think that that necessarily goes with it. I guess we could put acacia trapdoors up there to see what they look like. That could be worth a try. Or we could use uh, copper trapdoors. I do find the copper trapdoor very shiny and very busy. Let's try a couple of these. Ah, you have spawned where you should not be spawning. <laughs> uh, I honestly might leave him around just so that I don't have to listen to the farm constantly. That's gonna be tricky. I guess I can just move the move the dirt blocks. There we go. You stay down there. How did you get up? You can climb scaffolding? Didn't know that. I guess he's trying to get the zombie. I got a funny feeling these are going to be too busy. I don't know. I think the acacia ones are actually pretty good. I don't know if I want to see the water. I guess there's water in there too. Yeah. I think that's probably a decent solution for now. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, I don't want this to go into the... I want to keep this. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe I will... So, no, we've got no golems that are going to spawn right now because he's hanging out. Which means I might actually take the opportunity... Oh, to, um, double check everything inside. I just make sure I do not want to go down that hole. Oh, I don't have any concrete? That's annoying. Whoa. Wow. It takes forever the water to go away. Uh, concrete. I only need four. Oh, this is going to be tough. I know it's not important because you really can't see in here, but 
I think it's kind of nice to have everything nice and tidy. He's still there. He's still there. What I should do is capture him. I believe that you are now stuck. All right, you should not be going anywhere. Thank you, Sweet Sandy, for the reminder. I think I do have to wrap this up here. That's not bad. I think we have to work on what happens in these corners. I don't like the smokers there. And certainly not doing the trapdoors. And I like the, like I like the crossbeam. I'm just not crazy about what's happening here. It's almost like we don't have enough depth going on. Yeah. And this is starting to feel kind of busy with the trapdoors now. So maybe the, the solution is actually to go and copy what we had before on the other farm. Let me look down there. That was how we did these sides there. And so if we copy that, You know, maybe what we need in here is just one trapdoor like that. Keep this outside simple. Careful not to smack the golem, because that would be a real pain. Yeah, I like the clean look. I, I'm honestly curious as to whether this would look good if this was also uh, like a copper pipe. But I will... Attempt that tomorrow. Yeah, not bad. That is where I need to wrap things up for the day, though. We are going to pass you along. I believe uh, Whip is live and working on the Fantasy Minecraft SMP. That's got folks like Pixel Riffs and Mythical Sausage playing on it as well. I think you'll enjoy your time there. You can, of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. You can listen to the Sponge Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts wherever you find your podcasts. I would very much appreciate it. We put a lot of work into those shows, and I think you will enjoy them. They're free, so why not listen? Uh, the Sponge Chunks is also on YouTube. If you want to subscribe over there for free, that helps us out a lot, too. And you can meet me back here at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That is UTC minus four hours tomorrow on Saturday. And I will... Uh, be back here working on the design of the top part of the iron farm. Thanks so much, folks. I had a fantastic afternoon. I really appreciate all the follows, the subs, the support. Do check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's the best way to support me. It is the price of a cup of coffee over on Patreon. Once a month, you get access to the Discord, and it helps me keep on streaming. Bye for now. See you tomorrow.